Exclusive, Ojanis Jaber sets sights for Wimbledon glory after Princess Gate support. The tennis star is the first African and Arab woman to compete in a women's Grand Slam final. Trailblazing tennis sensation Ons Jaber is set to make a triumphant return to Wimbledon this week. Driven by the determination to build on the past two years, the 29-year-old is resolute in her mission to become the first African and the first Arab to win a Grand Slam title. Dot last year, the professional Tunisian tennis player captured the world's hearts, including the Princess of Wales, when she delivered a humble speech following her loss in the women's finals at Wimbledon. The defeat to Marketa Vondrausova was, in Ons' words, the most painful loss of my career. Watch the clip below. Speaking in an exclusive chat with Hello. At the A6 rally for the Mind event in Paris days before the SW19 tournament, Ons opened up about their goal to clinch the winning title and having the support of Kate, the patron of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. I feel a great connection with grass courts, so I feel like maybe I'm ready this time, she said. I'm just going to try it one match at a time and see how it goes, adding, I think I will take it one step at a time. I struggled with a lot of injuries during this year. Contemplating last year's setback. Reflecting on last year's defeat, following her back to back runs in the Wimbledon finals, Ons shared, Not going to lie, but it took me maybe months just to get back to playing on tennis courts and to have that joy. Dot getting back to training was somewhat of a challenge at first. I think at certain times, I was just playing because I had to be there, she adds. You can definitely see the results weren't so great because I think it affected me more than I expected it. Dot I thought crying would help. But it definitely did not. I thought crying would help, but it definitely did not. I had more inside me, I had to accept that it is what it is, and I believe in destiny. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I was trying to find that reason to teach me and maybe I will be able to win my first Grand Slam one day. Dot support from the Princess of Wales. Dot in a rare display of emotion, the Princess of Wales appeared to tear up as she watched Ons lose the game. Asked about the royal support over the past two years, Ons says, she was really the nicest. She has watched me twice, losing the final twice. She kept asking me if she could hug me, and I was like, who doesn't want a hug from a princess, you know. For me, it was such an amazing moment. And not just that, I felt her kindness and energy around me. Ons will be among the many hoping to see the princess return to Wimbledon, something which she's yet to be confirmed by the palace amid her treatment for cancer. I really wish her a speedy recovery, adds Ons. I know she's going through a tough time.
she's been there when I was struggling, and I hope I can really send my energy there for her. She's such a nice person, and I wish her all the best, the tennis star also confessed Kate's backing has inspired her more than ever before. Honestly, it's an honor, continues Ons. I always try to behave in the nicest way on the court. Dot sometimes you know, tennis players, we can go crazy. But having her support, I think gives me extra motivation to really play good. Honestly one of the reasons I wanted to win last year was because she was there and she was really supporting me. Ons Jaber's Grand Slam aspirations. Ons first made history at the 2020 Australian Open when she became the first Arab woman to ever reach a Grand Slam quarterfinal. She has since played in two Wimbledon finals, repeating the feat at the U.S. Open. Women can get married, have a job and still enjoy life. On the pressure to win a Grand Slam singles title, something which she is on course to do in her career, On says, there's a good amount of pressure there, it's completely normal. It's my choice, I chose to not just play for myself but to play for a lot of people and to inspire a lot of people. Because I know how difficult it is to come from a Muslim country that people might not believe in you and you come from a region where we didn't have a lot of players coming up and winning slams. I feel everything is possible and I want to prove that to everyone. Even when I got married, people thought I was just going to have a baby and stay home, that's not the case. Women can get married, have a job and enjoy life. For me, I decided to replace the word pressure with pleasure. Dot Ons admits she has been waiting for this moment and patiently for years now. She adds, it would mean a lot to me. I feel like I owe it not just to myself but for the people who love and support me and are waiting for that. It's become a bit of a challenge but I want to show that everything is possible.